food as well as just like date nights are a huge part of a lot of people's relationships or going to grab drinks with friends, going over to a friend's house and all of that, which gets a little bit more complicated when you're in prep. It doesn't mean 100% you can't do those things, but it does get a little complicated. Sure. I I think that within um, going out and doing things, there are going to be things that you can do that don't involve food necessarily. Um, I I think that going over to friends and and I kind of have like a, I have a little bit of a cheat code in the sense that you do a good job. If we go somewhere, it's not the end of the world if you don't eat and, and I don't like make a big deal out of it. Like I get to order what I want to eat and we move forward with it. And now do we, do we go out to eat of just Sue and I, and I eat and Sue stares? No, that is not what I'm speaking to. I'm saying that if friends, if friends ask us to go do something, if she's comfortable with going, she'll eat before or she'll eat after. I always recommend before. I never understand why she does it after. <laughs> That scenario is fine. But in the sense of just Sue and I both, I think that um, in those scenarios, doing things at home, um, like you can go on Google and find hundreds of ideas of date nights and things to do uh, that don't involve food and getting out into your community and doing things that way, I think is very important. Going on walks, I think is something that... um, you know, many people kind of look past of just getting that time to sit and have a uh, conversation more so. And uh, you get to learn a lot about each other in that scenario because you're much more focused on one another and not the thing that you're going to do. Mm-hmm. You're focused more on actually quality time. So I actually see it as kind of a benefit. Um, and for the the guys out there that their significant other is uh, in prep or what have you, um, or, or their female significant other is in prep, I should specify, in that it's a good opportunity for you to eat better yourself. <laughs> you'll have more, but f- you'll have less junk food around if, if you guys are living together and you'll find yourself in a situation where it could be a good time for you to learn more from a nutritional perspective, potentially not asking your spouse for all the advice as they are fatigued and they've got <laughs> enough on their plate in general, but it could be a good time for you to kind of take the reins to your own diet and have better um, nutritional intake and those different factors. Yeah. And and we do miss the aspect. We, we've talked about it multiple times throughout this prep of like, oh, I miss just being able to like swing by someplace on the way home instead of always having to pack something because me personally and just kind of how we're going about this prep. Basically, since eight or 10 weeks out, I haven't really eaten out unless it's something programmed in. I've cooked everything and not had packaged food or processed foods, really. It's been every meal has been cooked by myself so that I can control all of the variables. And that is hard. And it's hard to be like, oh, I wish we could just go grab Chipotle or Rebel, or we could just go out to dinner and go grab Mexican and have fun. But it is something that we understand that there this is a specific time that that's just not happening. It doesn't mean that it's never going to happen ever again. It will definitely happen for sure. Uh, And being able to, like Alex said, just find those other things and being able to run with that. So instead of thinking about what you can't have, and this is a life lesson, think about what you can have. So you can still have conversation. And we really prioritize that within our, our relationship of we don't watch a ton of TV shows or spend a lot of time um, doing those types of things because we're like, hey, we're super busy throughout the day. We don't get a chance to talk. So we're going to ensure that we have 30 minutes to an hour each evening to really spend time together and talk. And whether that does mean we go on a walk with our dogs or we go on a walk, just the two of us and bonus, you get some extra steps in um, or we just sit and talk with one another. That's something really special and really valuable and a way that we can grow our relationship even within a prep, which I think a lot of times people think that you can't grow your relationship within a prep because there's so many other things that you're doing or prioritizing. But our relationship has been a very large priority throughout this prep and throughout past preps as well um, of making sure that we touch base with each other and making sure that we're continuing um, to flourish within our goals. 